Hello, this short video was created to introduce key Columbus Food functionality. Functionality that are enhancements built seamlessly into the Microsoft Dynamics NAV solution. This video will review Columbus's recipe management for the bakery industry. For many years, Columbus has worked with various types of bakers and their product lines. Columbus has both the solution, experience, and support to meet bakers' unique ERP system challenges. In Microsoft Dynamics NAV, master records are key pieces of information that are used to drive business processes. For Columbus's recipe management, the following master records must be defined before recipe development and eventual processing can occur. And then depending on configuration settings, additional records are created to be used to enhance the functionality for that business process. Bakers deal with variable sizes of intermediates, like multiple divider bakery lines. In base NAV, bombs are pretty much just assembly driven or discrete, and attempts to create batch units of measure can lead to incredible complex workarounds. But as we'll see, Columbus Food Recipe Management addresses this complexity for the baker. Formulas usually involve the mixing, blending, batching, or cooking of various ingredients, whereby they become inseparable within the output product. Formulas are linked to intermediate items, or sometimes referred to as work in process or WIP items. After general identification information is defined for a formula, it's necessary to set up a version of that formula. The version card is where new formulas are created and existing formulas are modified. They can be any number of versions created. Versions themselves are unique and independent from one another. Each maintains their own ingredients, batch size, equipments, etc. Bakers assign a status to indicate the current standing of the formula version. While some of the settings are purely informational, the one critical setting is certified. If multiple certified versions exist for a single formula, the system uses the start date for each version to determine the formula's active version. Versions start with general information. These fields default to the primary unit of weights and volume that have been assigned within the baker's system, but can be changed on a version-by-version -version basis if necessary. The values in these fields are used by the system to calculate the formula's density. The Lines Fast tab is where bakers define the ingredients that comprise a formula. Besides ingredients, additional aspects of a formula, such as processing instructions or other information, can be entered on these lines. Here, nutritional data indicates that Columbus's integration to Esh's Genesis is operating. Genesis is producing regulated nutritional labels based on data from NAV. Batch quantity field is populated with the quantity of the component to be used in the production of a single batch of the formula. With pre-processes, it may be that certain activities must be performed on production materials before work on a production order can commence. When an item's lot is entered on a consumption journal line for a production order, lot preferences will alert the baker if the entered lot does not meet the defined lot preferences. If allergens are present in an item, and when that item is used as input in a production run, that item being created will always contain that same allergen. This roll-up can be executed by the system and will update all available allergen information on all levels. Unapproved items are raw material items that are being used on a trial basis in production. By setting up unapproved item records, the user can include them as components on existing production bombs in order to view the effect they will have. The formula batch size fact box displays the input and output weight and volume for the formula versions, as well as the formula version's density. Bakers can adjust the batch size of a formula if a new piece of equipment with a different capacity maybe is being introduced, for example. The Equipment Fast tab is where bakers can indicate the possible equipment used in the production of a formula version. Equipment capacity and minimum capacity set a capacity range for batch sizes of the equipment, and fixed and variable production times are used to determine the start and end time of the order. Every activity-based costing entry on this fast tab will be included as a labor, machine, or other cost, depending on the setting in the resource type field. A formula version's overhead costs are calculated from all of three of these resources. As said earlier, it's possible to create multiple versions of a single formula. Clicking a new version does not contain any of the information that was entered on the old version and is effectively a blank slate. 
To save time when setting up a new version, the copy formula version feature lets the user select an existing version of a formula and copy all of its information into the new formula version, where it can then be modified as needed. A package bomb involves the packaging of an intermediate. Bakers will notice the similarities to the formula bomb we reviewed earlier. Columbus's package bomb gives bakers better management of the different components without having to do a lot of complex reconfiguring. It's possible to include the same intermediate item in more than one package bomb. And using a where used, we can see the package bombs are linked to finished good items. Columbus offers two other types of bombs. An item process usually involves the trimming, cooking, or freezing of a particular ingredient, resulting in a different item. While the distinction may not always be dramatic, raw fruit versus cooked, there still is a definite process taking place that needs to be defined within the system. And finally, co and byproduct bombs can be considered when a single production order can have several intended outputs. Each one of these outputs can be packaged into separate finished goods or used in additional production activities. When a production process has more than one primary output, these items are referred to as either co or byproducts. A tool bakers can use for recipe management is NAV's Exchange Production Bomb item. This tool replaces items that are no longer used in production bombs. You can exchange an item, for example, with a new item across multiple bombs. That completes this overview video. We anticipate you may have more questions and welcome the chance to discuss further your business needs. Thank you for viewing.